Take a dive with me into this Mermel deck. Alright guys, Abe here and uh, you know, I want to update my Mermel deck profile, especially now we got a new Link. I'm so happy we finally got a Link monster now for Mermels. Um, hasn't changed too much from the last deck profile, just a couple like filler cards and like, you know. And obviously with this deck, there's a lot of variations to this deck you can play. Um, you can play the, I think it's called Abyss Nose if I'm not mistaken, I forget the name. Um, but, uh, you can play that, that way you can get True King of All Calamities out, things like that. Um, just some other profiles I've seen online, um, it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, let's go right into my version of the Mermel deck profile. Um, pretty standard with this deck, for me at least, I just want to OTK you and, um, just one turn. Um, especially if my opponent makes me go, for, se uh, go second. Um, that's basically the theme of this deck, is just to try to kill your opponent in one turn. Um, so yeah. So first, obviously, we're going to run three Mermel Abysteus. Um, he's the main searcher for your uh, gun gun in this deck because I don't run any pikes or turges or the nose or anything like that. Um, but he's good just to get your Atlanteans out and start getting plays out. Um, even if you don't search with his effect, just to get the um, Dragoons in the grave and start searching out all your pieces. Pretty cool. And he's just, he's just one water monster, so it's pretty easy. Um, and then for the other level sevens, we play two Megalos. Um, you could bump this up to three. Sometimes I think about it, um, but I do like playing the one lead, um, which I might as well showcase now, one lead. Um, just because sometimes Megalo can be a little too weak for sometimes to get over certain monsters, so that's why I like having the lead there, just in case if you're able to, um, if you're already having the graveyard, you can summon a Teus, discard the gun, that way you can get the lead back into the, um, lead back onto the field. And he's just a beater, and then he's just another card you could also uh, use the effect to discard a card from your opponent's hand, um, just like the Moulin Glacier we run in the deck. Um, so you could potentially rip three cards from your opponent's hand, which is not bad. Um, so yeah, so that's for the level sevens. Um, and now obviously two Mermel, Biz Gunday. Um, she's really broken. She's discarded to the graveyard. You could uh, summon um, a Mermel monster from the graveyard. You usually want to get your Megalo, or um, that way you can OTK, or just get that rank seven out. Or just again, you know, just link fodder out on the field as well. Um, but yeah, she's broken. And uh, now into the Atlanteans. Obviously, we're going to run three Neptibus. Um, the one card OTK. And, um, yeah, there's nothing much more to say about this card. This card is really good. Um, it's, a just start, it's your main starter card. You usually want to see in your hand as fast as possible. And start, you know, dumping those Atlanteans in the grave. Especially the Dragoons. And, um, you know, just start that OTK. And f also, three Dragoons. Um... The fact that it's back at three is really crazy, um, and it's not a once per turn effect, so you just, you know, dump it, search again, search again, especially if you have your Teus or Megalos in hand, and things like that. And on to the little baby Atlanteans. Um, I still like running three Heavy Infantry and three Marksmen. Um, I see a lot of deck profiles that only usually run uh, two Heavy Infantries and uh, one Marksman. Um, but I think with this deck, um, since I don't run, since not a, it's not a Sekka's light version of the deck, um, I like having the extra names because sometimes um, you just want, you just need to resolve the effect of the either Neptabis or a Megalo in hand. That way you just have extra pieces in hand. You can just dump them and just get them out on the field as, easy, as fast as possible. So that's the only reason why I run. I max out on three copies of each. And also, like if they have something set or face up on the field, Marksman and Heavy Infantry can deal with those cards. Now for other water monsters running the deck, um, obviously with this deck you, you want to get a little more oomph into the deck. So I run th uh, three Swap Frogs, two Dew Frogs, and a Ronatone. So this is more just to get more either Link Fodder out or just to get Toad out because you have access to Toad in this deck, you, especially with these cards. So why not run these cards? And they're just, especially with Swap Frog in hand and any water monster, you at least get them out. You can start sending your um, other frogs to the grave. And um, like I said, you just want to get Toad out. Toad is a really still annoying card to get around because basically it's going to get anything so you know why not run these cards and it just turn guys real well with the deck uh, now for others obviously one diva and one moulin glacia diva they're going to try to stop it and it's a tuner so why not so there's a couple of synchros in the deck that we run just to um just like more strong monsters because innately these monsters are not too strong attack wise um but they still have a lot of crazy effects 
And um, with Moon Glacier, obviously, if you can summon it out your first turn, rip two cards from your opponent's hand, why not? Uh, and now for some hand traps, I like running two Veilers and two Ashes. Um, before, I only used to run two Veilers. Um, I used to have Twin Twisters in the deck, but um, I took that card out, and um, or those Twin Twisters out, and I added Ashes because there was a lot of times where I would play, and let's say if I don't have a Veiler, but like, or I, let's say they activate a spell or something that activates, or that sends something or lets them add something, you know, I always wished I had Ashes in my hand, so... That's the reason why I added Ash in the, into the uh, deck because if you don't have it, it's going to be pretty hard to stop your opponent, especially if they set up a really, like, uh, untargetable board. Untargetable board because then your monsters or your, you know, Atlanteans can't pop them. Um, and now into the spells. Um, there's really, there's only eight spells, and I like to think of them all as power spells. Uh, one spell I'm actually running is Surface. So sometimes what I find myself with this deck is that you do search a lot and you dump everything in the grave, but you can't really get anything back from the grave. Um, well, now with the Mermo, you can get some uh, the new Mermo link, you get something back from the grave. But sometimes if you don't have nothing else and you can get this, you can at least get back a Neptibus or something and you can start doing something. So just something from to summon something from the graveyard is really a uh, key, especially because Monster Reborn is at one. So I just thought something like this would help out, help out extend place so that's why i'm just running one of these it's like a another monster reborn for the deck um and then obviously with all the little guys uh, we play two salvage because you could just start getting basically getting two baby atlanteans or neptibus or even the swap or the frogs you can bring those back to your hand and extra fodder for your bigger mermails um and sometimes if maybe you draw like not the right water monsters you want in your hand uh, i do still like playing moria greed because you could shuffle them back and get draw three new cards and hopefully it refixes your hand a little bit um and then one one for one for the neptibus um if you can summon it off of this that's pretty cool uh one monster born to extend one abyss get mizuchi i still like playing this card because when you now you could actually attach it to the mermel link if you like but obviously you put on the megalo because it's uh, stronger um the fact that they whatever first spell they play will get negated right away um, it's pretty crazy. So that's why I like having it. And then obviously for the last uh, spell, one Regeki just in case um, you just need to get rid of stuff. Or maybe bait something out. So that's why I run the one Regeki. And now into the extra deck, guys. So there's a couple uh, synchros I have in the deck. Um, just monsters you can go into kind of easily. Um, and yeah, just because like I said, innately these monsters aren't really strong attack-wise. And um, that's why you have to sometimes go into the extra deck a lot. So one would be Star Eater, um, just this and like another level two and uh, I'm level seven Mermel. It's pretty easy and he's just unaffected by stuff. I still like running him just because they won't see it coming. And um, you know, why not? And obviously you want Trish. Um, Trish and your opponent is pretty, uh, I would say good because you know, it's non-targeting and non-targeting is really key nowadays um, because everything's so untargetable. And uh, one other card I still like running is Coral Dragon because, you know, you could um, you destroy stuff and you still trigger off your Atlantean monsters. And if it leaves the field, you could draw a card. So, you know, I think it's still a really good card to have in the deck. And now until the Exceeds. Um, just some really powerful Exceed monsters you run. One Toad because obviously it negates anything. And you get to keep it if you can. Um, one Dweller because um, everything is water. And the only, I mean, the only targets is uh, Dragoons, but we can get him out and Dweller. Um, it's pretty cool. And even if you detach, you still get the effect. So um, it's not bad. And then one Flare Metal Dragon. There's actually one uh, one me, one Duel. One, I, mean, I think I probably mentioned it in the last video um, against a player. Uh, he tried to destroy my monster, but he only had 800 life points. And, you know, you need two. Uh, he was trying to nightmare Cerberus, but he had to use an effect to summon out the second monster, so he couldn't really burn uh, or destroy it afterwards. So uh, it's pretty cool. So yeah, just burning your opponent, you know, it can be pretty, especially if you do a lot of damage uh, with this deck. It's pretty crazy. And one Mermo Abyss Um He's like a skill drain, uh, skill drain on the field for anything that's weaker than him. Especially if you get the Abyss Scale on it, that's pretty cool because it makes it even stronger and basically anything weaker than it can't um, activate their effects if you detach and obviously it's like a gravity bind so um, now there's a lot of monsters running around pretty high level monsters that can't attack so having him out on the field would be pretty cool because that way they can't attack it unless they pop it or something um, so that's why i like having him in the deck 
Um, and for the new Link monster, we have the Mer Mermel Abyss Lux. I, I can't, I'm not even going to say it. But it has a good effect. Um, kind of sucks that it's only during your opponent's turn. But, um, you know, it's still a good effect. Just to trigger off your Lanteans and you get your Mermels. You can search any Mermel monster so you can get, finally have a way to get to Teus. Usually you can't really search uh, Abyss Teus out, but now you have a way to get Teus in the, in the hand. Um, so why not? And then it's effect to, uh, you know, get a monster back from the graveyard. It's pretty good. Um, so yeah, so she's really good. It's a good addition to the deck. Um, and why not? It gives you the two pointers down, you know? Um, and now on to generic links. We got one Miss Starboy. Um, everything's water in the deck, so why not? Um, just to pump them all up and, you know, try to attack over your opponent. Um, and for Nightmares, we got one Cerberus, one Phoenix, just to out, uh, back row and something that means Monster Zone if you can. Um, just in case you use a lot of your resources. Um, so... Yeah, that's why they're in here. And then for Link 3s, I have one Deco Talker. The only reason I'm running this is because I don't have a Nightmare Unicorn. I would probably r rather run that because, you know, you do get into that point where if you're playing like something like Thunder Dragons or like something that has like a boss monster you need to get rid of and, they, you know, they can't be destroyed. You kind of want to shuffle into the deck. So this could easily be a Unicorn. So that's my suggestion for the deck. Uh, but deco Tark as well because you know you'll still have if you have a monster out you can at least negate something so why not and for link fours obviously um the usual Borload and saryuja Borload just to out automatic monsters saryuja in case you need to draw a little bit um you can flood the um field no pun intended um with this deck so to get four monsters out of different teams pretty easy and then you still get a special summon effect and whatever you draw could help out so yeah um, but that's it for the deck profile, you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Like if you like Mermels. Um, make sure you check out our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook for more updates and behind-the-scenes stuff. Um, and thank you for watching, and have a good day.